Hey guys, and welcome to this Let's Play of the Battletech Beginner Box by Catalyst Game Labs. I'm still learning the game, but I thought it'd be really cool to sort of play it through. A bit of a solo, me be me, <laughs> and see how we get on. So it's going to be House Lau versus House Karita, and uh, I hope you enjoy. More Battletech coming soon, so please subscribe. Okay, so you get pretty much everything you need straight out of the game, out of the box. Um, the only thing I've added is a dry white marker and some coloured dice, which I'll explain later on. So today, we're going to have... A Wolverine WR6 WVR 6M from House Lau um, taking on a Griffin um, from House Karita, um, a GRF 1S. So I'm still learning the game. Um, we're going to play through the standard mission rules and see what happens. Uh, the mechanics are actually dead simple once you get your head around it. So I hope you enjoy and let's see what we uh, see what we do. Okay, so for setup we both roll 2d6 for initiative. So House Lau. Oh. Four and House Karita gets a three. So, because House Karita got the lowest score, they actually win that roll off and they are the attacker. So, the defender, House Lau, places their mech first. So, we get our House Lau mech and we place him anywhere within three hexes of the, uh, of the edge of the board. So, I'm going to put him there just for, just for the sake of it. And being the attacker, House Karita places their mech anywhere there so we'll put him there now we're set up we roll off for initiative again the lowest score moves their mech first then the opponent would move their mech and so on and so forth so the game works in that you you both move then you both shoot and all damage applies at the end of the turn so it means that nothing's tabled off before it gets to do anything so house lab yes an eight house curita yes an eight as well re roll <laughs> house lab seven seven <coughs> wow Karita, oh my word. Lau 5, Karita, there we go. So House Lau gets to move first. So our mech has three options. We can walk, you can run, and you can jump. And they obviously have different distances they can move and so on and so forth. But it also adds to how hard he is to hit and also his shooting back. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to walk. And he's got a walking movement of 5. So we go 1 two, three, because we moved to hex square, four, five. Because he's walked, we now need to indicate that. So use a different color dice, they can be white, I'm gonna use green, and I'm just gonna put a one next to him, so that means he's a slightly bit harder to hit. And now goes over to House Karita to move. Having the same options for movement, I think he wants to close the gap a little bit, so I'm actually gonna run with this mech, and his running speed is eight. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And we indicate that with a black dice because it does have a different hit modifier. So in the attack phase or the shooting phase if you like, it now reverts back to House Lau and we declare our targets all alternating. So House Lau is obviously going to declare that mech as his target. We check line of sight so it's clear. If there were things like heavy woods or three points of wood, so two for heavy, one for light, in the way it would block line of sight. And there are other mechanics like arc comes out from the base like that. But we're obviously just straight off pugiling each other. So he's going to declare that mech as his target. Then goes to House Karita, who's going to declare the House Lang mech as his target. Our mechs all have handy little reference sheets for their weapons as well. And you get to fire every weapon. So. Some have armors and so on and so forth, but we'll get onto that as we go along. So first off, look at the medium laser. So I'm going to find the medium laser, which is short range of three hexes, medium of six, long range of nine. So first thing we do is calculate the target number we need to be on our 2d6. And for the out of the starter box, so to speak, it's really, really simple. So we first start off with our gunnery skill, which is how good your mech is, basically. So my gunnery skill is four. Okay. We then add our movement modifier. As a, as a shooter, so it goes up to 1 to 5. We then add the targets, which is 2 to 7, and then any range modifier. So we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexes away, which puts me to medium range of my laser, which is plus 2, so I need a 9 to hit, which I've missed. We're going to fire our SRM, which is a missile shot. So it's exactly the same modifiers there, guys. I need a 9 to hit, which I have got. Now, because this is a, uh, a short-range missile, we actually have a little table, which is a cluster-hit table. So we see how many projectiles actually hit our, our enemy mech. And to do that, we have a weapon size, okay, which is six. 
and we roll 2d6. So I've got a 7, 7 on the 6 at the table, so I've actually hit the target four times. So now we uh, roll to see where they hit and see if we can cause some damage. So we look at our enemy mech and he has different areas. So we, we roll four times because we've hit him with four missiles and it's a, it's a cluster hit so to speak. Each missile does two points of damage to the target location. It's just, just the rules for an SRM. So the first one, he's <laughs> bang on the head. <laughs> so we've done two points of damage on his head and we simply dot them off. Okay. Second one, he fit in the eight, which is, let's have a look, his left torso. Two points of damage. Third one, hits him in the ten, which is his left arm. And the fourth one, hits him in the eight, which is his left torso again. Okay, so a few hits there. So it's not done anything to destroy anything on the mech, but we do get to fire the rest of our weapons. And because we fired one of our missiles, we fired one of our 15 shots. Okay, so let's have a look at what well, we've got a large laser. Now I like the sound of a large laser. And if we look along here, distance in hexes is still going to make it the same modifier to hit. So I still need a nine with that, okay? Which I have hit again. So again, we go through the process. Rolling our hit location on our unfortunate house Karita mech. This does a flat eight damage, which is on the eight again, so left torso. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's taking it in the shoulder. At least it's not the knee. Last shot with the house loud mech. He's got a medium laser, um, which again is going to be slightly harder to hit this time. So because our medium range is six, and we're seven hexes away, we have a plus four to hit. So I actually need an 11 with this one, which I've missed. So that with that, that concludes the house loud shooting. But... No actual effects of this with a blue's arm off or killed him or anything. We still get to fire back because it's the end of the turn this calculates. So now our house greeter mech is going to return fire. First off, we have a long range missile, which yeah, is just a short range of seven. So again, let's total it up. We've got a gun range skill of four. So my target number is four, five, six, seven, and no modifier for range. So a long range missile, it lands. And being a, a, a missile, we roll on the cluster hit table to see how many times we actually hit the enemy mech. So our weapon size for long range missile is five, and I roll two d6. So nine, cross from five, I've hit him four times. Now anything up to five is grouped into one hit location with long range missiles, but if I hit him 15 times, I'd roll three separate times and hit five points of damage on each location. But let's see where we hit him for five. So in the seven, center torso, Two, three, four, five. That's a solid hit. Head and center torso if you destroy that location, the mech's done. So, but we're not going to finish. We're going to keep shooting him. So we've also got a large laser, which is a short range of five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We're actually into medium range there, plus two. So let's calculate the uh, the target number. Gunner skill of four. Five, six for my modifier. Seven for the enemy. And we're in medium range, so I need a nine to hit with this large laser, which I have here. So, looking at our house loud mech, this does a flat eight points of damage. Let's see where it goes. Onto the seven. Which is the center torso again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing solid hits to the same location. Final weapon is our medium laser. Um, which has got a short range of three. So, yeah, <laughs> medium range of six, so it's actually going to be in long range. So four for our base number, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is a target number. Ooh, almost. With that, that's the, uh, the turn over, and it reverts back to initiative. Okay, so for turn two, House Lyle gets a five, House Karita gets a six, so House Lyle has the initiative. So what are we going to do? We're going to move... Five. So I think we're going to move. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, like that. And we put down his green dice. It shows me that he moved, uh, so it's plus one to him to hit, but he actually traversed two hexes, which means that the enemy has a plus two modifier there to, uh, to actually hit him. How's Karita? What are we going to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. So. 
Do we stand still or do we actually do something? I think we're going to move as well. One, two, three, four. So again, I'm going to put a green dice down. So we moved three hexes in total. So working out our shooting, House Loud's going to fire everything at him. House Creature's going to return the favour, so to speak. So looking at our House Loud car, we have a medium laser. So we've got Gunner Shield 4, 5 because I moved, 6, 7, 8 because of the distance there, and then any range modifiers. But we're in short range, first of all, with our medium laser, so we need an 8, which misses. We've also got an SRM, which is in medium range, needing a 10, misses. Oh dear. <laughs> a large laser, which is in short range, needing an 8. Come on. Oh no. And we also have a medium laser, which is in short range, needing an 8. So, absolutely fluffed it. <laughs> House Creator is going to return fire. So, we've got an LRM, short range again. Now, the modifier is going to be slightly different here. So, we've got 4 gunnery skill, 5 because he moved, 6, 7. Okay. He's in short range, so sevens to hit with an LRM. Misses, brilliant. And a large laser is in short range this time, so sevens to hit. He's hit him. Let's pull across our house line mech card. There we go. So this does a flat eight damage. Let's see where it goes. To the six. So flat eight damage to the right torso. Yeah, a big hit. <laughs> and he also has a second medium laser on there. So let's see if we're uh, going to have a big hit again. Which we don't, unfortunately. So, with that, turn is over. And reverse back to initiative again. Okay, so turn three. Let's do some initiative. House Lau. Seven. And Karita gets a five. So Karita's actually going to go first this time. Which is interesting. So, let's see what happens. And I think the thing to do here, Max, can actually move backwards. So let's go one, two, three. Put our dice on there. Over the house line, what's he going to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, so. Hmm. I don't think he can get out of R. He could do a run, maybe. So, let's run. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. <laughs> and so obviously because he ran, we uh, we notify that with a dice on the base. So House Creator firing first. Let's have a look. He's in arc, just he's only two hexes away as well, so let's let's total it up. Four, five because I uh, I moved. Six, seven, eight, basic, but there's no range modifiers, which is great. So eight's on the LRM, <laughs> total miss. Eight on a large laser, total miss. And two medium lasers, come on. That's it, that's a better hit. So one hit, which is five damage straight to the five, which is, doo -doo -doo, a little table, the right leg. So five damage to the right leg, and then a second hit, which is hitting three which is his right arm. So five to the right leg, five to the right arm. So House Lab's gonna return the favor, or at least try to, and uh, fire back. So again, four is a base modifier, but he ran. Okay, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine as my basis to hit. There's no range modifiers, obviously, because of how close we are. So let's try our medium laser. Hit on and misses. Our SRM, misses. Our large laser, Misses, oh dear. And our medium laser. Ah, okay. So medium laser hits. Let's see for a hit location for five damage. So for a six, that puts us straight on the right torso. So let's mile that damage off. Turn four is initiative. Uh, House Lamb is on four. And Frita is on eight. Okay, so House Lamb's going first this time. What are we going to do? I think the easiest thing to do is move backwards. So one, two, three, four. Now because I've traversed four hexes there, I actually am quite a lot harder to hit. And it's a count of how many hexes you've actually moved. However, we're still in an arc there, aren't we? So, hmm. One, 
two, three. Okay, so he's moved again. Make himself slightly harder to hit. Let's see what happens. So how's Lau gets to shoot first? I'm gonna fire everything again. So it's four as a base modifier. Five because I moved. Six, seven for their target modifier. Okay, so we're on sevens. Let's have a look. We've got our medium laser, first of all, which is short range of three. So it's intermediate range. So I'm on nines. Missed. I've got a medium range shot with an SRM. That's what we wanted. Big hit. And an SRM on the cluster hit table. Let's see how many times we hit. So it's weapon size six. I rolled 2d6. So that's six. And weapon size six. So I hit four times. Okay. Four times in four locations doing two damage each. First location. Cool. Seven. So that is in the center torso. Takes two. Next hit is the left torso. Takes two. Let's, uh, let's start uh, typing them off. So two in the center torso, two in the left torso, got two more hits to come, 11, which is the left arm, and 10, which is the left arm again. So he's starting to take some damage, isn't he? He's starting to take some damage. Let's keep, keep firing and see what else we have. So we also have a large laser, which is short range of five. So there's no range modifier, so it's four for gunnery skill. Five because I moved, six, seven. So we've landed a hit with a large laser, which is a flat eight damage. Let's see where it goes. So it's on the seven again. So that's on the center torso. Which we've now marked off, so he's looking a bit ropey, isn't he? So, final hit. We've got the medium laser, which is in medium range, okay? So it's on a, a, a nine to hit. So we've got another hit. Let's see where it goes. Seven, which is the center torso, takes another five damage. So we've got four hit points left in the center torso. It's not looking good. That one is dotted in as well. It's not looking good whatsoever, is it, for him? Only four left and he would be destroyed. However, House Creator's mech isn't going to stand there <laughs> doing nothing. So he's got medium laser, short range of three, so he's in medium range. So, gunner skill four, five because I moved, however, up to nine because of this, okay? So, gunner skill, so nine is the target number, and we have plus two for the range of medium laser, so we need an 11 to hit with that, so that's a miss. Um, we also are on nine with the SRMs, needing an 11 to hit, which is a miss again. And we're on nines with the large laser. So, oh, apologies, seven with the large, no, nines with the large laser. And the reason is four for gunnery skill, five because I moved, up to nine for that, and there's no range modifier for the range, which we still missed. And the medium laser, <coughs> two medium laser shots. Okay, so, short range of three, so I'm on 11, miss. Miss. That was absolutely shocking. <laughs> okay, so for turn five, I'm going to demonstrate what happens if both mechs remain stationary so there's no movement modifiers whatsoever and just see what they can actually do. So both movement, both have opted to remain stationary, but we do need to do initiative. So half Lau, 11. How's Karita? 7. So Karita is moving first. He's not moving. Lau isn't moving. They're in each other's sights. Let's have a shoot off. So Karita's going to fire first. Check the range, one, two, three, four. So we're four hexes array, okay? I've got an LRM, which is a short range of seven. So we've got a gunnery skill four, no modifiers, okay? So no one moved. So I need a four to hit, so we've hit, okay? It's a cluster attack as well. So it's weapon size five against a 2d6 roll of six on the table, which means I've hit three times. Let's find out which location it is. Three times to the seven. A square hit to the centre torso again. So three damage there. They're getting there, aren't they? <laughs> We've still got some more shooting though. So that's our LRM. We've got a large laser, which is a short range of five. So again, we're just on a four to hit with this with a flat eight damage. Just <laughs> location for the hit. Oh, it's a big ten, which is the left arm. So the left arm on our mech here takes eight damage. Okay, we've got two medium laser shots. Can't finish a mirror, I think he's done. So 
first one misses <laughs> and the second one hits so again take our location for a six which is the right torso takes five damage okay house loud gets to shoot back we have our medium laser okay short range of three so there is actually a range modifier here so it's actually on a six to hit so gunnery skill there's no target or movement modifiers in there so i'm on a six to hit with that and actually missed so i've got an srm which again because the range is on a six to hit so that hits so the srm we have to roll to see how many attacks we get so we've got if i bring the table over so we've got a weapon size of six against our two and six roll so i've rolled a six which means that we have four hits landing. Now each hit location lands two damage, so let's uh, see what we've got. So we've got a six, right torso. So two. We really need to be getting centre torsos. Twos and sevens. Come on. <laughs> there you go. That's two more damage. Let's get that again. There it is. There it is. So that's the final two damage on the centre torso. And whenever a, a mech centre torso is fully uh, fully boxed, he is uh, blown to pieces. <laughs> so that's that. At the end of the turn, the damage applies, and we remove that mech from the game. So House Lau is victorious. There we go. So that's a, a real sort of quick, basic run through of the uh, the core BattleTech rules. There's a lot more to it. There's heat management, various different. These things expand to sort of like A4 sizes when you get onto like the full game and so on and so forth. But I'm going to enjoy playing some some one on ones and just some little tabletop game counter games. These cards are brilliant as well because they dry wipe. <laughs> so there we go. That's out of the box. That's let's play. So let me know what you think. BattleTech's uh, I think it's a cool system. I think it's a couple of models and you can have a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, please do subscribe for more content and uh, happy hobbying.